I think that I'm not supposed to be here. That's what I feel like. I'm not supposed to be here. And the reason I feel that is because um, as a kid from poverty, we are kind of left alone. Um, back when I was going to school, as long as we didn't cause any trouble, um, I played sports and um, I was really good at volleyball. And so the teachers would give me my 70s so that I could play sports. Um, but they really never made a connection with me. I didn't have a connection with a teacher until I was in ninth grade. My mom was a single mom and I've been a mother to my brothers since I was 11. And so it was really difficult um, for me to go to school and be ready to learn because of all of the things that was going on in my life. And so when I became a campus administrator and turned my desk where I could look at those housing projects, I just remembered me as a little kid coming out of there and nobody really connecting with me. So I worked really hard on building relationships with kids and I wanted them to see they are, have value. And I think that that's what um, relationship-centered learning has done and it has given me. And so that's what building relationships will do with you. It'll give you that edge in to that kid so that you can really see what's going on with them. They can know some things about you and then you can build that relationship on a solid foundation so that mutually they can grow and be successful.